While Softland comes fully loaded with a vast array of commonly used walls for design, we also realize the need for flexibility in designing your own custom walls. Softplan has been designed with builders, architects, and remodelers in mind. Constructing a wall is done using terminology such as studs, plates, and sheathing, while building the most fundamental of construction details, the cross-section. To gain insight into this easy yet very powerful tool, we will take the time to define a custom wall consisting of 2x4 studs, 3 feet of stone, and 5 feet of stucco. Begin by selecting File, Drawing Options, Define Wall, and Edit. While a wall can be constructed from scratch, for this example a copy of the existing 2x4 brick wall can be made and modified to suit our needs. Simply highlight the wall and select Save As. Input the name of 2x4 stone and stucco. Select OK. A brief overview of the wall definition shows user-definable items such as the overall wall height, stud spacing, and footing options. The bottom half of this menu, titled Definition, contains an overview of the materials used, their dimensions, and placement within the context of the wall. For example, the brick material contains a width of 3.5 inches height of 96 inches, and working from outside to inside and bottom to top, a horizontal and vertical start point of zero. Given the knowledge that this wall is to contain an exterior veneer of 36 inches of stone, the first step will be to modify the brick material. Begin by clicking within the height cell and change the dimension from 96 to 36. As changes are made, note that the cross-section preview will also update. To modify the material from brick to stone, click the down arrow and scroll to find the material. Existing materials can continue to be modified to suit your design standards. The next step will involve the addition of a stone cap material. Begin by selecting the Add Material button. Softplan will automatically add the material, in this case, to the right side of the drywall. The material added will list as Adobe Brick. Simply, this is the first material alphabetically in the long list of materials. With the new material added, you can set about making changes. Begin by changing the type of material from brick to stone natural. The dimensions of the stone cap can be modified to suit. Next, both the horizontal and vertical start points will need to be modified to move the stone cap from its current position to the exterior side of the wall. As mentioned, the cross section will allow for a point of reference. Select the Add Material button to have the default material added to the section. This material can in turn be modified to stucco. Finally, modify the width to suit. To move the material up to the sheathing, select the horizontal start field and input the appropriate dimension. With the wall built, select OK. To draw the wall and review how it will appear both in plan as well as SoftView 3D, right click the mouse to open the draw menu. Select wall and quickly sketch a sample of our new wall type on screen. To view this wall we will select Ctrl plus V, which is Quick 3D. Simply click the mouse to indicate where the camera is to be placed, then drag the mouse towards the wall and click. At the prompt, select the mode to view, in this case, textured. By holding down the middle mouse wheel, the wall can be quickly rotated around. Finally, to see the wall as a higher quality picture, simply change modes to rendered. As has been shown, Softplan's wall definition tool is simple to navigate without sacrificing any of the necessary details needed to properly create complex walls for today's evolving market. Regardless of the nature of the product, Softplan's wall definition tools will give you the confidence to build it, draw it, and estimate it without needless workarounds. This is simply one of the many tools that sets Softplan apart in the world of CAD design.